Okay, quick video on how to set the timer on the group by timer light from the Chinese black box proof group on Facebook. This is also the same instructions for any Evergrow style D2040 light that has the uh, LCD timer as opposed to the LED timer that the, uh, the cheaper lights have on them like the uh, T247 and uh, some of the uh, Evergrow knockoffs that are on uh, eBay right now. This has the uh, full screen with all the information printed right on it, a little easier to use. Other than that, the lights are pretty much the same inside as far as the drivers and everything else. Uh, so to go through this, first of all, we have the remote control. We've got three buttons across the bottom. Uh, don't worry about what they're labeled. This is a kind of a universal remote they use for a lot of different lighting systems. Uh, to start with, if you hit these, it'll turn channels on and off. So I'll turn off the white. And now we've got just the blue. And then I will turn off the first button. So now I'm running with just the moonlights. And if you notice, the moonlights are actually quite bright. You get a lot of coral pop or glow out of them. However, I think they're probably too bright to run all night. Your corals do need some rest time in order to respirate. So I usually run them during the day, and I'll run them for 14 hours. And then I run the blues for 12 hours. And then I run the whites for 10 hours. So I kind of create a three-stage ramp uh, for the tank. Now, the first thing you want to do for programming is set the system time. So you're going to hit this button here. When you hit that, the screen will change, and now it asks you to enter the time. Let's see if I can get this autofocus to work for you. There we go. And you just use the arrow keys on the remote here to move around, and then when you're happy with your results, you then press the middle key to enter, and it will go back to the main menu. Now, to set the timer, you would now hit instead this round button here, and it's going to ask you which color you want to change. So I'm going to change the time on the blue. I'm going to hit enter, and now it's going to let me change the on and the off time. Now, this light has two ons and two offs, four, four episodes total you can program, because uh, this light, or I shouldn't say the light, but the controller is used for hydroponics as well and sometimes they will run two different light cycles in a 24 hour period. They'll run six hours of light, six hours of rest, six hours of light, six hours of rest. We don't do that so what we want to do is we just want to keep them all the same and get this to go again. It hit the wrong button on me. There we go. Alright so I'm going to hit blue and now I'm going to go in and change the time. So instead of coming on at 10 in the morning, I want it to come on at 11. And it will now come on at 11. I'm going to change it back to 10 so I don't mess up the program. Now, where most people seem to have a problem is they forget to change the on and off here. See how that changed to OF for off? This changed to on. After every timing event, you have to tell it what you want it to do. So then I'm turning it off at 22. It's military time. So that's 10 o'clock at night. That's my 12-hour cycle. Now, I set the bottom for the exact same times, and that seems to work very well. Some other people have left it blank. It seems to work, but just in case, I do the whole thing. When done, you hit the enter button in the center, and you are done. If I then hit this button again, I can now choose the next channel that I want. So now I'll check the white channel, and then I can change the times then as well. The important thing is making sure that the on and the off is reflected on each of these. Now, if I hit the menu button, which is up in the corner, that's going to allow me to do a couple things. Change the, uh, the resolution, or excuse me, the back lighting, how bright it is. Um, it'll let me rename my channels, and I'm not going to do that, but I'll show you, what you how you would do it. Um, if I press the up and down arrows here, I can change that from blue to green to white. Some units will actually say moonlight. Some of them will not. This one does not, so I changed it to say blue, white, and red for the moonlights. Doesn't really matter once you remember which ones are which. Uh, it will not make a difference. The other thing you can do in the menu is what's called a factory reset. Again, I'm not going to do that because I'll lose my programming. But if it ever starts acting funny on you, that's your first place to go. Hit that, uh, and it will make sure that uh, everything's back to the way it should have been, and you'll have to reprogram it. Uh, the final choice in here is the backlight option. And the backlight, right now I have it set that after 40 seconds it will turn off. Uh, so that 
if it's in a room where maybe you're watching TV and you don't want to see the, the backlight all the time, you can do that. Um, you can also change it to infinity or a minute. And I'm just going to take this up carefully. Um, the remote, the way they work it is kind of funny. If you press it slowly one at a time, it works perfect. If you press it a whole bunch of times at once, there's infinity. If you press it a whole bunch of times at once, it actually starts going by twos and threes and fives. And it will, it will not go where you want it to go, so you'll have to start over. And I'm going to change this back. Apparently I got it on zero instead of infinity. So let me just go ahead and take this up real quick. Now see how it's moving so fast? I'm only pushing it a few times and it's really jumping. So the faster you hit it, uh, it goes up by multiples of twos, threes, and fours. So don't think that there's something wrong. Just slow down and uh, then keep it that way. Now, we've set our timer. We've set our system time. Now the next thing is I need to turn the actual timing function on and off. If you look, there is a clock showing up. Now it's gone. Now it's back. When it is showing, you are on timer mode. When it is off, you are in manual mode. To turn it on and off, it is the center button on the remote right here, and that will make it turn on and off. So now it is back on. Now, it seems like the main problem people are having in setting this is that they will set it to turn off at, say, um, 8 o'clock at night, but they're programming it at 9 o'clock at night. Meaning, uh, when they're done programming, they go, wow, my, my light's still on. It should have turned off because 8 o'clock was an hour ago. Well, it won't do anything until it cycles through to the next day and hits 8 o'clock again. Then it will turn off. So if it's, uh, you know, whatever time it is you're setting the timer, if you're basically telling it to do something in the past, it won't. It has to go to the future. So if you still think your timer is not working right, the easy way to test it is to take a channel, whichever one you want, And let me get this to pull up here real quick. It's not focusing very well. And what I would do is I would set this for, for example, 1101. I set this one for 1102. I set the next one for 1103. And I set the next one for 1104. And, and I would pick a time, not necessarily 11, but something within the next five minutes from now. And then I'd sit and wait. And what I should see is the timer cycle on and off twice in three minutes. If that works, then you know the timer's good, reset it for the times you really want, and then you are good to go after that. So hopefully that answers everybody's questions. A um, couple other things real quick. The fans do turn on anytime any of the three channels is on. So unfortunately that's not negotiable. Uh, they're not terribly loud. I mean, you can listen to the video here, and you're probably hearing the overflow more than you're hearing the actual fans. but. Uh, some people may be working in an office where it's very quiet uh, or in a, a den or study uh, might hear it and find it annoying. Some people have taken uh, just regular filter floss and cut a uh, square big enough to cover the fans and that was enough to dampen the sound and make them very quiet. Uh, just don't do anything that would block too much flow. They are needed to keep the, uh, the diodes cool so they work more efficiently. And as far as mounting options, um, comes with hangers, so you can use plant hangers in the ceiling. Just make sure you put in a, a good molly bolt or something to hold it. Um, I actually use some flat stock iron, bent at a 90 degree angle. Don't mind the picture that's going to be hung on the wall later. And I uh, actually use that to hide the cord as well. And that came out with a, uh, a fairly clean look to it. But there's a lot of different options of how you can, uh, can mount these things. But again, that is the, uh, the group by light. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the lights. When you uh, get them off the group buy, again, they're $133 uh, shipped, which is a fantastic deal. Improved Spectrum, if you uh, have not had a chance to get to the page and look at it, uh, we've done quite a bit of work. Uh, I personally selected out the diode colors, and we have all 14K whites. We have UVA, UVB, 420 uh, nanometer violets. We've got 450 nanometer blues, which are much deeper blue than the, uh, the Windex looking 470s that you see in most of the value fixtures on eBay. Uh, we also have two reds and two greens and by going with the 14K whites we have a more crisp look and instead of the warm whites and having say four of the red diodes uh, you're, you're gonna have the right amount of red. You need some red for good coral growth but if you have too much you're gonna have tons of algae problems which is something we don't want. We want just good coralline algae and healthy corals and as you can see in this mixed tank, which is uh, mostly softies and LPS, everything's growing like crazy. we got a little bit of SPS up here, not a lot, 
uh, but we're starting to move more into it in our big display tank downstairs uh, we, it's dominant with SPS and they're growing great under these lights if you have any other questions visit the group and uh, give me a yell thanks